this is Tony from Crash Kings and you're at Popularity. What were the expectations going in to put the album together? We, uh, you know, we just wanted to make a really big sounding piano rock record with no guitar, you know, and, um, and that was, uh, that was the, the big goal and we kind of wanted to just have songs that, um, you know, were, you know, not every song sounded the same and there was a lot of different feels and, um, and everything to just kind of show off what we're capable of, the fact that we can do like harder rock stuff and then some kind of more mellow, uh, you know, ballad stuff and then, and, you know, medium tempoed rockers. Um, so that was kind of the goal going into making the record uh, with our, our producer and we just wanted to put, put forth the best songs that we had and, um, and put forth the energy to, you know, try to capture what we do live as best we could. What do you feel are the key challenges that you face during the creative process? Um, I think it's just being in the right frame of mind. Uh, sometimes it's sometimes it's just working, and other times it's you're you know sometimes you're on, sometimes you're off. When you're on, you keep going. If you're off, you stop, and then you, you, you take a break and you come back at a at a better time when your head is clear, or you know when you're when you're really feeling it. Um, you never it, it, when we're working together, it's. Um, I think it's uh, it really depends on our moods. I think really affects the creative process, and I think that can can be a you know a challenge when we're if, if we're all together or if we're all kind of off on our own thing or, or what's what's affecting us in our our, our day to day lives. You know. Is there a song on the album that was most rewarding to see it develop? Uh, I'd say Raincoat was one of those songs. We've made a lot of changes. Uh, to while we were making the record, and, and it sort of developed into something that was a lot different than the original. Um, also, Saving Grace was the same way, had a lot of changes uh, to it. Um, and I think, uh, I think maybe actually mo mostly You Got Me was the biggest, was, was probably the biggest change. Um, originally that song was really hard, like really hard and in your face and kind of, uh, and then and we took it down and made it a more like more of a groove sort of song and something that that, that you could bob your head to instead of like you know fist pumping you know it's more like just kind of like laid back laid back groove style. Do you find that when you perform songs that they're evolving or changing with each time you play them? Like, do songs ever grow? Of course, yeah, all the time. Can you describe how you feel you've evolved musically and personally throughout the creation process? Um, I mean, I there's so much that you learn in the in the creative process of making a record. Uh, things working with the different, you know, a producer that you you know that who you really respect, and you know, it's it's the collaborative effort. Of you know, coming together and and, uh, and there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot to learn about tones and what your instruments sound like. And um, I just think that uh, there's a lot. There's a, we learned a lot in terms of uh, arranging songs and um, you know making them a little bit more cohesive and uh, and not only within themselves but with you know each song individually making the whole album cohesive. That was something that, that we really learned how to do and um, you know it's, it's you know the, every day is a learning experience when you're in the studio and it, you know just opens your mind to, to realizing that there's just so many different possibilities and different routes to take and um, working with a producer like Dave Sardi who knows who's made so many incredible rock records you know it's great to see his process and see how he worked and we got a lot out of that. What's your most vivid album creation memory? Probably tracking the dr tracking the basic tracks in Sunset Sound. Um, we got to get all the drum tracks uh, in the same room where Led Zeppelin recorded and Rolling Stones and Van Halen and everything and it, it was awesome to, to be in such a, a 
great big studio with such an awesome vibe, and um, that was probably like one of the biggest memories of making that record is when we were mainly tracking the drums, and I had a, I was on a Steinway grand piano in my own room, but I could see everybody still. And it was a really, really cool vibe. What would you say is the biggest challenge facing the band right now? Just, uh, you know, writing material and working together and trying to create songs that are just as good, if not better, than the ones on this first record. What emotion do you wish to evoke from your fans when they hear your music? A feeling of positivity and... And uh, I want to take people for a ride. I want people to feel like they're experiencing something more than just a, just a song. I want it to be more of a, a, an adventure and a ride. At this point, what do you fear most? I don't fear anything. Do you have anything that you'd like to say to the readers of popularity? Yeah, check us out on tour. That's where we shine the most. And... Uh, check us out at CrashKingsMusic.com. That's it. Look out for a new, uh, a new, hopefully uh, next year, 2011.